hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so back in the day I created a food delivery app and I got a comment saying how to make search bar functional so I thought creating a video on how to make a search bar functional and make it filter grid and list both in Swift UI also I will try to explain everything along the way so let's get started first things first let's create a new file a Swift UI file and let's name it search view or maybe uh, search bar okay now let's get rid of this and let's do s tag and then let's add text field now our search bar is in a different file and we need to update the content views list or grid so for that let's create a binding property called text and let's put it over here now let's add padding of 15 and then padding horizontal of 25 then let's do background color and we are going to do system gray 6 and then foreground color let's make it black let's get rid of this because we don't need that also let's give it a corner radius and now let's run that oh and before doing that let's go back to the content view and we need to call the search bar over here so let's go ahead and create a state property called text and then let's uh, put all of this in a restack and then let's add the search bar and pass in the state in the search bar parameters now let's run it and as you can see we have the search bar and some text at the bottom so let's go back to search bar and let's add a overlay for our uh, that icon the magnifying icon so inside the overlay let's add hashtag tag and then let's put in a image now as you can see it's in the center so let's uh, push it to the left for that we are going to first let's add uh, the foreground color let's do gray and let's see how it looks and now to push it to the left uh, we are going to add frame and give it uh, its min width make it zero and then max width infinity this will uh, enable it to expand the entire screen and I don't think that you need uh, alignment uh, but when I was making the video I just I just added it anyway and now let's add the padding leading and then do 15 and so as you can see we have our uh, magnifying glass at the left okay now let's add uh, the cross button at the right for that let's create another system image so image system name and then we are going to do multiply dot circle dot fill and let's change its foreground color to gray and then let's give it a padding of filling 8 and let's run it let's see how it looks and there you go okay now let's create a state property and let's call it is editing and let's make it false now let's uh, put a condition that if is editing is true and inside that let's add a button and action and for the action we are going to do self.text equals uh, like an empty string and let's inside the label let's put the image so basically uh, when when the user will click on the multiply circle uh, when he clicks on it the text the search bar text is gonna go uh, is gonna be empty then and then on the overlay we are going to add a property called on tap gesture and inside that we are going to do self dot is editing equals true
and let's run it and let's see what we get there you go so whenever i click on the cancel button uh the whatever text i will type is gonna go away so now let's create another condition and inside the condition we are going to create a another button and we are going to say inside the action we are going to say self dot is editing equals false and after that we are going to do ui application dot shared dot add send action and inside that we are going to add a selector it's going to be a ui responder dot resign first responder and two from for let's make it all nil and then in the label i'm going to add the text name cancel also let's give it a padding of trailing 18 and then let's add a transition let's do move and then let's add a default animation so now let's check how it looks so when i click on this as you can see it slides from the trailing the cancel button whatever i type when i click on the uh, close button it will remove everything so let's go back and uh, to our content view and now let's create our list And then we are going to say I in and then let's add a text so this is the simplest way to create a list as you can see it goes from 0 to 19 and the search bar is working the same way as it was before so in the list we have uh, given a range so we gotta put it inside uh, another bracket and then we are going to do dot filter and then over here we are going to say dollar sign zero and then we are going to do dot contains and inside this we are going to say text which is the state property oh and one thing i forgot i have to add the id parameter and let's make it a self and now let's build it and Now whatever I search, so when I press 1, it shows all the values that uh, contains 1 and if I press 2, 5, 8, you, can, you get the idea. Now the problem right now is that uh, when you run the app, you see an empty list. So for that we are going to create, we are going to append our condition and we are going to add a or operator and then inside that we are going to say that, uh, that tech, if the text is empty then I trade the list and or if it contains the, the text that we have searched then show the list. So now as you can see if right now it's uh, the text is empty the search text is empty so it's, uh, it's gonna iterate from 0 to 19 and whenever we type any text inside our search it updates automatically so this is the simplest way how to implement uh, the search bar for uh, for list and now let's see how we can implement the search bar on grid so let's delete the list we don't need it anymore and inside the content view let's add var columns array and it's going to be a repeating array and then inside the repeating property let's add a grid item let's make it flexible we don't need the properties just make it blank and we are going to show uh, two uh, two items in a column now let's add a scroll view and then it's going to be a vertical scroll view and we don't need to show the indicator so we are going to say shows indicators false and inside this we are going to add a lazy v grid and we are going to say columns which is which is going to be the columns that we just created and spacing 20 and inside this we are going to add a for each and then let's do i and then in now for the for each we need some data some data to i trade so for that we are going to create a struct a model basically and let's name it uh, my data 
we have to create a variable of name id which is which is going to be equal to uuid and then let's add another uh, variable called title and it's going to be a string and now let's create a variable called and data it's gonna be an array of uh, the model my data title and let's you can put anything inside the title so let's just copy and paste my data multiple times and change the value like so now in the for each let's do m data and then let's add a text inside the for each and we are going to do i dot title let's run it and as you can see right here we have a grid of two columns so let's add padding uh, dot all and then let's do 30 let's also give it a background color of gray and let's see how it looks so it looks okay it's just uh, for this purposes look it looks okay so, okay so now that we have our grid ready let's go inside the for each where it says m data let's add dot filter and then we are going to do the same process that we did for the list we're going to do dollar sign zero we are going to do dot contains and then we are going to put text inside it also let's add the r property and text dot is empty and now let's run it oh and one more thing let's go back and let's add dot lower case to our search text and now if you run it you can see whatever i'm typing it's just showing me those specific uh values and now let me show you the best part about uh filtering from the model so now let's go ahead in our model and let's add another property of uh, subtitle and also let's make it a string and in our array let's add the subtitle property and you can give it whatever you want and over here let's uh, cut this and let's create a v stack and put the text inside it and get rid of the properties from the text and give it to v stack and also do i dot subtitle and let's run it and now when you search whatever you're going to search is going to look for both the title and the subtitle so if i say span it's going to show me the first one if i'm going to say something it's going to show me something and you get the uh, point so just like that where in the previous video i created this ui if you search for peaches you'll get peaches if you search for apple you'll get apple you want plant you get plant and you get the idea so so i hope you guys like the video if so then smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and just to let you guys know i read all the comments uh, like this and then i made a video out of it so if you guys think i should make a video that you guys want to see then let me know down in the comments below so take care and i'll see you in the next video